Hey guys, uh, this is Ali and uh, welcome to another tutorial for Cinema 4D and since uh, I didn't do a modeling tutorial for a while uh, I thought I'll make this one a modeling tutorial uh, Also, I'll upload uh, tomorrow morning uh, the Turbulence 4D tutorial uh, if you guys are not you guys waiting for it or not <coughs> But yeah Alright, so uh, the first part we're gonna create uh, the sci-fi door that I created Sapphire, sci-fi, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're gonna create it, uh, you know, model the whole thing. Not in one part, obviously, it's gonna be really long, but I'll try to keep it uh, short and, you know, uh, as much as I can. Alright, so download link for this image in the description. You can just go ahead and download it and drag it to the front view, just like this. Just drag it and you'll be good to go. Alright, so at Part one, we're gonna create the outside of the of the door. So this part, this is the first part we're gonna do. We're gonna create this. So if we go to the image, this is what exactly we'll be creating, as you can see here. And we're gonna use this image as a reference. Uh, so all right, let's uh, let's just uh, delete this uh, part. I guess we don't need it. Alright, and uh, let's go to the front view. And now, if you have uh, your grid uh, checked on like this, you know, I recommend for you if you just uncheck it, it will be much better. Uh, but yeah, alright, let's insert uh, a cube and let's just drag it to the, I guess, the top right. And from this cube, we're going to create the whole outline. All right, we can just resize the cube, I guess, somewhere about here, maybe. Let's make it editable. Let's go to the point mode. And now I like to work in the point mode because it's much faster, you know, just to move uh, points and all, you know. It's just much uh, much faster. And I like to use the rectangle tool. And always make sure only select visible element is unchecked. Usually it's, it's checked, but make sure it's unchecked. All right, let's select these points and let's just move them somewhere about here uh, maybe this one also let's take the top one so I'm trying to make them fit this part over here select the bottom also and you can zoom in you know and be more accurate than me I'm just uh, uh, doing it just for the sake of this tutorial I guess I'm trying to be accurate as much as I can uh, maybe this part I'll move it a bit inside somewhere about here. All right, that looks good. Uh, let's right to click and go to the knife tool. Now the knife tool, I like it because it have this uh, kind of uh, plain mode. We can cut the way you want it, and horizontal or vertical. Uh, so uh, this is way better. So let's do a cut uh, somewhere about here, which I'm using now the line of the model over here, and just add in the cut. All right, let's select the rectangle tool again. Make sure you always unchecked only select visible element. Just uncheck it. Let's select this point and let's just drag it down. Like so. That looks good. All right, looking good. You don't really need to be, you know, exactly 100% like the image, but hey, if you want to go ahead. All right, that looks fine. All right, right. Let's go to the perspective, uh, perspective view, whatever. <laughs> I hope I said it right. Uh, let's go to the polygon mode and let's select the bottom. This part over here. Let's go back to the front view. Let's zoom out a bit, and let's right click and select the extrude tool, and just hit extrude somewhere about here. Actually, let's undo this, and let me get this over here, and let's zoom in, and let's extrude again. And I'm gonna go somewhere about here. I think will be fine. We can fix it if we want to, and extrude again, <coughs> and somewhere about here. That looks 
that looks good let's go back to the point mode and select the rectangle tool again make sure you uncheck it and let's move this point oh, actually sorry let's take it back undo and let's select the knife tool actually we need the knife tool I think we can add a cut over here. Let's unselect the point first. Actually, always make sure you unselect and when you select the knife tool, make sure you're not selecting anything. That will be better. All right, let's zoom in. And I'm gonna add a cut somewhere about here. All right, looking good. Rectangle tool and select the bottom uh, points and just move them up somewhere about here let's take a look sometimes you'll get this problem you can just you know move the point a little a little bit and find it would be better if you go to the front of you just zoom in on this alright let's zoom in this one I think this is fine yeah I think it's a straight line that looks good all right looking good let's go to the polygon mode and let's select the bottom go back to the front of you zoom out a bit and right click extrude and just extrude all the way down somewhere about here where the line all right looks good extrude again somewhere about here I guess and extrude again all the way down all right looking good go back to the point mode select these two points and move them to the right like so maybe a bit to the right somewhere about here will be fine so if we take a look here we have this part looking good all right let's go to the polygon mode and let's select uh, sorry this part let's go to the front of you zoom out a bit all right I'm gonna zoom in even more over here just to be accurate let's right click extrude and just extrude uh, I'm just gonna extrude it to the middle so somewhere about here I think will be fine all right, so this looks good. All right, looking good, I guess. All right, let's go to the front of you and let's create uh, uh, another cube. All right, you can rename them if you want to, but I'm not, I just know the object, so no need for me to rename it, I guess. And let's go to the, take it also to the right side top right side let's zoom in on this one and let's resize the cube we're gonna create this the inside if you already guessed it you're right you're gonna use the pool tool boolean tool whatever you wanna call it let's make this cube editable let's go to the point mode and start uh, let's select the rectangle tool and we can zoom in I guess on this one maybe I'll even make it bigger somewhere about here select this point move them to the right right to click knife tool and let me zoom in here let's add a cut 
over here that'll be fine select the rectangle tool select this point and just drag it down like so and always guys always make sure you uh, and check in this only select visible element all right that looks good that looks good so we created the object right now let's add the uh, a symmetry tool and we're gonna symmetry these two and add another one and symmetry the other object so we have like so right let's move these two to the front a bit all right looks good and now we can bully these two I guess so let's use the boolean tool select both of these bam and here we go here we have the first uh, this one I guess alright uh, let's duplicate uh, this one the first one that we created and uh, let's rotate it 90 degree and again 180 degree and just drag it down like so and you can see it's almost identical so no need for us to go and model it again there is no point and we just need one we can put it in the same symmetry of the first one and just select both of them and hit Alt G and this is gonna group them in a null object because uh, when you add two objects in one symmetry and using uh, the boolean tool it won't work or using two things for one symmetry or two objects in one symmetry it won't work so if you put it in the null object it kinda fix it alright that looks uh, looks good I guess let's select the first one again let's duplicate it and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degree like so and just drag it down somewhere about here drag it to the right since they have the almost the same size so again we don't have to really go and model there's no point Maybe this one I guess uh, we can move uh, the points uh, use the rectangle tool again and move this point to the bit down so it kind of fit actually that looks fine maybe I'll move uh, uh, these three to the right somewhere about here see and it works perfect let's take a look bam here we go looking good all right uh, let's create now these kind of uh, metal plate plate whatever you want to call it this one all right let's insert a cube uh, let's try and find let's go, sorry let's zoom in and Let's try to make this cube fit this metal blade, plate, whatever you want to call it. All right, uh, let me move it to the side, I guess. Let me make it editable. Go to the point mode. As you can see, I, I always like to model in the point mode. It's just more faster. It's just moving point. Uh, Maybe I'll move these a bit to the bit up somewhere about here will be fine. Uh, let's unselect anything, right click, knife tool, and let's start adding some cuts. I'm gonna add one over here and one over here, and I think we'll be good to go. Hmm, alright. Let's select these points and drag them up. Looking good somewhere about here will be fine uh, I think it's good now 
let's deselect everything right click knife tool let's add a cut uh, over here and one over here let's go to the polygon mode and let's select let's hide the first model let's select this part the down part right right click extrude and just extrude once just a little bit I guess fit this part alright looking good so I think this looks good now let's take a look you can see it let's scale it maybe somewhere about here alright now you can see it let's add the symmetry tool uh, which is here alright um, one thing I'm not liking it's not going all the way so let's fix this let's go to the point mode select the rectangle tool select this part and just extrude it I'll just move the point to the left I guess that looks good to me you know you can connect them if you want to and uh, uh, you can see this it's just overlapping I guess no problem but we can see here here we have it alright looking good let's continue alright maybe we can duplicate this part and just add it over here uh, let's see how this will work I'm gonna go to the regular mode and then select the uh, axis mode I'm gonna move as you can see the symmetry is in the top over here and the axis down there so let's just move the axis and just try to center it in the middle of the object okay that's looking good let's duplicate it you can hit control C control V I'll just click and hold uh, control and drag down uh, gonna rotate it 90 degree like so drag it a bit down and add it somewhere about here you can see it's a it doesn't fit it obviously but we can I guess uh, start manipulating the points and we'll get something I guess or you can start modeling uh, this part if you want to okay let's see what we can do maybe if we move these points a bit here I guess yeah looks perfect but it's not good for the other part select these point move them a bit down somewhere about here so as you can see here we're using the same uh, model but we just like duplicate it and try to make it fit the other part I guess it won't work so let's I guess uh, create one more one more all right let's do this let's create a cube all right and let's make it uh, actually let's resize it a bit before we make it editable somewhere about here make it editable go to the point mode start selecting points select this side always use the rectangle tool it's much better and always 
and check only select visible element I keep reminding you guys because sometimes you forget and you'll go ahead and do some modeling and you'll end up with something it's just for, you'll feel so shit after this and I hope we get in trouble with this in this tutorial so you guys can see how this is uh, you know a problem alright that looks good and alright looking good let's add some cuts and uh, let's make sure we deselect everything right click knife tool I'm gonna change it to YZ no, sorry I guess uh, XZ yeah alright let's zoom in let's add a cut over here and another one over here alright looking good so let's go select the rectangle tool select uh, these points and just drag them up like so you can you know zoom in be more accurate if you want to I think this is fine again uh, deselect everything right to click knife tool let's add a cut uh, here and another one here it's good. Let's go to the polygon mode. Let's go to the front view. I'm gonna solo this part only and select this. And right to click extrude and just hit extrude. All right, that looks good. Let's go to the polygon mode. Oh, uh, sorry, the point mode. All right, and select this part over here. Just drag it up a bit. Alright, that looks fine. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can symmetry this, I guess. So let's do. Alright, looks good. regular mode. I don't know why the hell it's overlapping, that's for sure. Alright. Let's drag it down. Drag this down. It's a bit, I guess, uh, playing around. Alright, that will work for now, I guess. Whatever. Let's add another symmetry tool and put it like that. It should work now. Let's do a render. Alright, let's take our symmetry tool a bit to the front. Not that much, somewhere, somewhere about here. Let's do another render, and bam, here we go. Here we have this part, I think it's, uh, it's done. And it's looking good, yep. Maybe a bit playing around to get these in the same place, I guess, but it's fine. You can, uh, you know, fix this later on, no problem. And now if you want to, you can add these pipe if you like to. Uh, so let's go ahead actually and do this. See how many minutes. Okay, I guess the last one is just uh, the, these pipe. Uh, it's very easy. First, let's create, uh, I guess, the, the wheel or machine or whatever, machine part. Let's go to the point, uh, sorry, the spline type. And let's select uh, this one. This one will work perfect. And uh, let's just scale it down. And as you can see in this image over here, it looks really simple, I guess. Oh, it's just been engraved in the actual pipe. So let's go ahead and, and see how we can create this. 
so we don't need that much teeth I guess so we can go that much nine maybe all right make it ten whatever uh, in a radius yeah let's make it something about here will be fine yeah I'm gonna make it like so let's add the uh, more graph or actually let's extrude this first All right, okay, we have it over here. All right, looking good. I don't know why we can add uh, what you call it. Um, that looks fine. Maybe I'll even resize it Maybe somewhere about here. Let's add the uh, cylinder. Let's change the axis of it, I guess. Somewhere about here would be fine. All right. Uh, let's make the radius smaller somewhere and let's rotate this one actually 90 degree maybe resize it more don't forget we want to make it looks like uh, it's in great in this pipe maybe I'll make it the height of it somewhere about here Somewhere about here will be fine. The radius, keep it like that. Also, I think I'll resize this one. Somewhere about here will be fine. Let's create a more graph uh, cloner. Let's add the uh, cog wheel, whatever. Let's keep it linear and change uh, the, the, the y to 0 add some uh, for the X position like so let's see how many one we have we have about four and so let's add four so one more and just try to spread them along this uh, pipe I guess let's go to the front of you actually Let's see how this is going. I think this looks good, I guess. Let's groove both of them with all GNU keyboard and just drag it up. Maybe we'll need to scale them up, I guess. I guess we made them a bit smaller. I don't know. It's really up to you, I guess. Let's do a render. Maybe I'll scale. Uh, machine part uh, let's do a render oh, what the heck is it look at the right side no let's try and rotate it um, cloner rotation oh definitely not that part I think it's this one no Oh, this is the random one. Let's go to transform. Yep, this is the one. Nope. Yep, now we're talking. Let's make it 90 degree. And turn on the pipe. Now it should be fine. Still render. Yeah, now it looks fine. And if you want to, you can just duplicate it once again and just rotate it 90 degree like so and drag it to the other side somewhere about here maybe zoom in drag it down if you want you can you know match or whatever you know it doesn't matter I don't know, somewhere about here, I guess. And you can create a symmetry for this one. And just drag it somewhere about here. 
No less match. I guess no, it's fine. All right, looking good. And here's the first part. Here's the machine part over here. You know, I think if you made it even thicker, uh, you know, that will add more radius to the pipe, and uh, what you call it. Um, Let's try and do this actually. Let's see how this one goes. All right, looks fine. I want to take the height a bit down. Somewhere about here. Do the same thing with this one. And take the radius. Actually the height, yeah, a bit down somewhere about here maybe also this one drag it somewhere about here let's go to the front of you and try to to match them I guess This is, looks almost perfect, almost people, almost perfect. And this one uh, still needs a lot of playing around, I guess. But let's see. Yeah, this one is a tricky one for sure. <laughs> I don't know how the heck. But yeah, I guess this is <clears throat> this is fine. I guess for the first part, uh, we can work with this. But yeah, as you can see here, we model this part, the first part, and the second part. Uh, we'll continue adding this detail and creating some of uh, the other part of the door. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you have any question, feel free to drop a comment, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace.